Alright guys, welcome back. This will be our last Lewis dot structure drawing uh, with an end chart. We'll go over molecular geometry, orbital geometry, hybridization, and axis notation. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need two handouts. You're going to need a periodic table handout, which you can get from my website. You're also going to need handout 6A, which you'll need to get from my uh, website as well. Just remember this is under Unit 3, handout 6A. Alright guys, let's go ahead and see which one we're going to be doing uh, tonight. Um, we're going to be doing an ion. Uh, this ion is negative. We'll be doing ClO3, negative 1. So let's go ahead and get the uh, EN chart started. We have E, A, and N. Remember E stands for element. A stands for available electrons, known as valence electrons and uh, N is need. Remember the need amount is either 2 or 8. Here we have the element chlorine. We have three oxygens for that three there. And we have a charge. So write the word charge here. Now remember when the charge is negative that means you have ad additional electrons. In this case we only have one additional electron. So what we'll do is down here instead of writing minus one we'll write plus one for the additional electron that we have. Now, as far as this, we need to know what families these are in. Uh, chlorine, if you look at the periodic table, is in column 17 that you see here. So it has seven valence electrons. So I'll put a seven here. Oxygen, if you'll look, oxygen is in column 16, so it has six valence electrons. Okay, after this, we need to figure out their need amount. Well, an extra charge. Well, you know, meaning extra electrons, doesn't need anything. As far as these need, it's not one of the first five elements, or in this chart, you'll put an eight. Let's add these up. Let's see, one, two, three, that's 18, 19. So 19 plus seven is 26. So A equals 26. Now the need amount is one, two, three, four. Four times eight is 32. Now when we do the math to get the number of shared, we subtract these two. We get six. And the number of bonds, we calculate half of six is three. Now the number of non-bonding electrons is going to be 20 because 26 minus six is 20 because it's A minus S. So we're ready to draw this thing. Now our central atom is going to be uh, Cl. We've got three oxygens, one, two, three, we need a minimum of three bonds. Now look at the calculations. We calculated that we needed to use three bonds, which is great. Now we got 20 non-bonding electrons, so we need to fill in dots. Well, we need to first make sure every O has an octet. Right now, this O, this O, and this O only have two, but it needs eight. So it's going, each of these are going to need six additional electrons. I'll make sure that I explain this cl clearly you have to have eight, an octet, remember, bonds are two. So there's two electrons there, two, two, and two. So that makes that two, four, six, eight. So when we give six to these, it also gives them an octet. Now, notice that this gives you one, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. We've used 18 of the 20. Anytime you have any extra electrons left over, you put them back to the central atom. And look at that, it even gives chlorine an octet. Now we need to figure out our molecular number here. We've got one, two, three bonds, three types of bonds, which are all single, single, single. And we've got one lone pair. So for our uh, geometries, we need to look up 3, 1 on the sheet. Well, look at handout 6A. 3, 1 is right here. Okay. So basically our... Uh, Orbital geometry is tetrahedral, hybridization is sp3, here are the bond angles if you had to know it. Here's the molecular geometry, trigonal pyramidal, the axis notation. So let's just go ahead and fill these in, okay? So on your uh, sheet of paper here, uh, we're going to write down orbital, geometry. We're going to write down um, molecular. We are going to write down, uh, say, axe notation, hybridization, and polarity. 
All right, now let's go ahead and find this on handout 6A. The orbital geometry once again was tetrahedral. Now let me show you where I see that. It's right here. Orbital geometry right there. Molecular geometry is is a trigonal, pyramidal. Just so you can see that I've recorded those. I'll show them to you. See, orbital geometry, tetrahedral, molecular geometry, trigonal pyramidal. Now, axe notation, just take this number and use it. A for the central atom, X for the substituents, three substituents, and 1E. So we just write a little E there. We don't have to put a 1 on it, just E. And that's also on the handout, which you'll see right here, AX3E. And uh, the hybridization. If you look back at this, you'll see that the hybridization is sp3. And polarity, notice it's white. All of this is white, so it is polar. So just make sure that you record that right here, polar. All right, guys. Uh, if you need to, watch the video again and again and again until you've got this. And I hope that the other nine was helpful. But this is number 10, and this will conclude all the series of videos over those dot structures. Now I hope this really cleared them up. I think 10 examples is great and I try to give a combinations of different types. So like I said, I hope they were helpful. And the only thing left to do now is just look at the credits, which is for me. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Good luck.